Welcome to my video about the Balkan Trail through Montenegro, Albania and Kosovo. After a flight from Brussels to Vienna and then to Podgorica, the capital of Montenegro, we embarked on a three-hour bus ride to the campsite of Plov. This is my friend Avi. She invited me on this hiking trip and it is actually her first time camping. So I was in charge of figuring out how to set up the tents. Once everyone had set up their tents, it was time for dinner. On the first day of hiking, we went from Plov to Vuzanje which was about 20 kilometers with the highest point being 2,095 meters. We started the day by packing everything up, enjoying breakfast with a view of the lake and receiving all important information about hiking and safety and what would happen if we would get lost. If she says yes, then they do nothing. If she doesn't respond or she says no, then they will take action. <laughs> Having survived this bumpy ride, it was time to start hiking. Hoe komen we een afstand te creëren tussen de deelnemers? Unfortunately, we were not hiking alone, and thousands of mosquitoes had decided to join us. This did mean that the group got to know each other a little bit better, because we were all sharing mosquito sprays and making sure that we didn't have any mosquitoes sitting on our backs. The kant van het meer, zie je daar zo iets dat in het meer. After a well-deserved break, with a beautiful view of the lake and the surrounding mountains, we made our way back down the mountain. On our way down, we came across this little hut owned by locals and got to enjoy a nice cold beer. <laughs> Cheers! The campsite was located right next to a waterfall with freezing cold water. A couple brave people even went for a swim. In the evening, we were served some delicious barbecued meat with potatoes and typical cabbage salad. Day two and the last one. No, no, no. The hike from Vuzanje to Teth is about 24 kilometers, with the highest point being 1,730 meters. A few kilometers into the hike, we made it to this beautiful lake surrounded by the mountains and forest. Some people went for a swim to freshen up, others just enjoyed the view. The hike continued through a steep forest, followed by a more flat but rocky landscape. On the rest of the hike, we saw a lot of butterflies and even passed a few pieces of glacier. At the beginning of the day, we had been informed that the descent was going to be very long, very steep and very rocky. However, they did not include that it was going to be a bit slippery as well. After a few more hours of carefully walking down the mountain, some cold drinks awaited us.
A bumpy minivan ride later, we had made it to the picturesque campsite of Teth. We were greeted by chickens and a super cute and fluffy dog. After enjoying dinner served by the hosts, it was time to relax a bit and get ready for the next day. On day three, we hiked from Teth to Valbona. Having said goodbye to all of the animals, it was time for our daily briefing. Oh, that's a great one. But uh, afterwards, we go 800 meters down. Behind the half of the climb, there is a bar, so we can take a rest there. You can fill up water there as well. And uh, at the end of the descent, we'll have two bars. Knowing that we would come across a few bars on the hike gave us the motivation to pack up our stuff and start the hike. Some of us were more motivated than others though. After having enjoyed a local sweet pancake cake, as well as a cold drink, the hike continued up the mountain, past some beautiful viewpoints. For the extra brave, there was the opportunity to climb all the way up to the peak of one of the mountains. Nerve-wracking, but definitely worth the views. Then the next adventure awaited us. A glacier which had been used as a bridge previously had collapsed. Luckily our guides and locals could help us get to the other side safely. After a short lunch break the hike continued through some forest leading us down to the last bar and a rocky van ride to the campsite. The campsite was beautiful and had a cold stream to soothe our sore muscles in. Having set up the tents, it was time to enjoy a cold beer with the view of the sun setting behind the mountains. On day 4, we hiked from Balbona to Dobergol. This was about 20 kilometers, with the highest point being just above 2,000 meters. After meeting the local animals, eating breakfast and taping up our feet and knees, we started the day with a jeep ride. Although it was about 35 degrees and we were hiking up a grassy field, Avi sprinted up the hill while singing to her musicals. Running up the hill with the sound of music, the hill goes on. <laughs> Once we had made it up the mountain, it was time for our lunch break with some homemade cake. <laughs> you know, you're actually filming like Mr. Bean's holiday. The last few kilometers of this hike were quite challenging as there were a couple fallen trees on our path but we made it nevertheless and we're happy to be greeted by some local cows and horses once we had gotten to the village of Dugardol. This was the highest located camping of the whole trip. After a quick dip in the waterfall and setting up all the tents, it was time for a delicious local dinner once again. 
At night it was time for a campfire with some beers and a drinking game called Raki Raki involving shots of the local spirit Raki. After a few bottles of raki and a noisy night thanks to the guard dog and the cowbells, the last day of hiking had started. Die daar, die hoge. Die? Nee, die. Oh, ik hoop toch dat het die is, ja, niet die. Want van die wil ik niet zo rood. On our way from Duberdol back to Plaf, we first made our way up a steep mountain, reaching the highest point of the trip, being 2,249 meters. This was a pretty intense way to start off the day, but definitely the best hangover cure ever. After being welcomed by our guides to what we first thought was the top, it went up even further. Albania. Once we had passed the border crossing of Albania, Kosovo and Montenegro, we got to enjoy a 360 degree view of the surrounding mountains. As this was our last day hiking as a group, we all stuck together and continued walking along this mountain pass for a few more kilometers before reaching yet another beautiful lake. Shortly before the end of the trail, we passed this little hut owned by locals where we were able to get a snack, get a drink and enjoy the view one last time in the mountains. We were greeted by our drivers and were able to celebrate that we had completed the Balkan Trail. After all hikers and the guides had arrived at the end point of the hike, a van took us back to the campsite of Plov, where we enjoyed the evening. solo is so much fun with you guys and all the inspiring people that I've met. And I actually just want to thank everyone who was there along the road to support me in one way or another because I really <laughs> needed it. <laughs> and then I started catching up with people and going faster than people. So like it was starting slow and then it went slowly better. So I'm happy that I did it. So that's fun. We spent the last night on the campsite sharing stories about our adventures, 
dancing and of course playing drinking games involving Raki. Having enjoyed a delicious breakfast with a view of the lake, we were ready to continue our trip back to Podgorica on the bus with the rest of the group. Day six. 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 Arrived in Podgorica, the group split up and everyone went to their own accommodation. But of course, we did not stay separated for all too long. The group had gotten so close that we met up a few hours later to enjoy the evening in town with some drinks, dinner, and of course, ending the night with dancing. On the last day of the trail, we didn't even know what day it was anymore. Day seven! Eight. Day eight? Day eight. Yeah. Day something. Which meant that it was the perfect time to relax at the spa of the Hilton Hotel. airport we met up with the rest of the group again and we flew to Vienna and then back to Brussels or some of the group to Amsterdam. Talking about the amazing week we had just experienced. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you Avi for this amazing adventure. Terwijl jullie naar boven lopen, hè? Ik zal eerst zo doen. Loop. Hé, hey, hardlopen bedoel ik, hè?